and spend nine and a half minutes together. <laughs> For those, oh, uh, for, those, for those who don't know, I am Joe Iconis. I'm one of the uh, This right here is my co-writer, Joe Trace. And this right here is Chase Brock, our choreographer. Look at these beautiful men. Uh, and we just wanted to come out here, uh, come out here to uh, say a few words. Um, I can't listen. I like, I, I, I found myself a few times over the course of our um, six, seven months. I don't know, how long have we run? What is it? Six months? Does anyone know? Six months. Six, great. Six months. Half a year. Yeah, yeah. Um, over the course of our half a year, I found myself on this stage making speeches like quite a bit. Um, and uh, I've always just been like one of those people who is like, I don't need notes. I can just get up here and wing it. I'm just going to, you know, say thank you very much for applauding my um, desire to not prepare for things. Uh, uh, but today, today, I just like wrote a few words uh, right before I came uh, to say because um, emotions are very high. First of all, thank you for being the most incredible audience for any live uh, performance I guess I've ever experienced. <laughs> I honestly feel like, I think that there's literally like five people in the house tonight who have no idea what Be More Chill is who just came to the show. These poor people are just like, I mean, it's pretty good, but I don't know, did I miss something? Um, so I, I, my sympathies to those five people who are here. Um, Thank you! Uh, you're welcome. <laughs> you're welcome, person. Um, and yeah, and just, and just, so, just to give you a little context before I start the speech that I wrote on a notepad. Um, my, uh, so like every, everyone is crying backstage, this is a mess, this is a real emotional, everyone says, oh yeah, I mean, it's, it's real, everyone's very upset. And I was backstage waiting to come on, and you know, my, uh, my wife Lauren is in the show, and so... Uh, and, uh, and Amanda, who works on the show, saw her, uh, saw Lauren hysterically crying in a corner, and uh, she said to me, um, uh, you should go over there and comfort your wife. Uh, and, I, and I looked at her and I just went, no. She's <laughs> like, I gotta worry about me right now. Okay, I'm gonna give my little speech. Uh, <clears throat> um, oh, and if anybody wants to film anything that happens, I think it's okay. Thank I you. Don't, <laughs> so don't feel like you have to covertly bootleg the show like you've been doing for six fucking months. <laughs> Just let it all hang out. What are they going to do to us now? Yeah. Um, so listen, Be More Chill is a show that has defied odds every step of the way. Since it was born in New Jersey in 2015, this musical has been embraced, bullied, elevated, ignored, energized, and weirdly parodied. And... <laughs> It has survived and thrived. We were resurrected in a way that no musical has ever been resurrected. We got to New York City in a way that no musical has ever gotten to New York City, and then we got to Broadway in a way that no musical has ever gotten to Broadway. It's pretty cool. And yes, we are ending our Broadway run today, and that is a bummer, and I would like to just, um, you know, so many people over the last, like, few, the, the few, you know, the weeks, months, whatever, uh, have, you know, when, when they want to talk about the closing, they'll say, like, oh, you know, it's closing, that's sad, but, like, you know, you should be so proud of what you accomplished, and I am, I totally am, but also it's, like, a bummer that things close, and so can we just do one collective aw on three, just for the bummer <laughs> aspect of the fact that the show is closing, everyone, please, one, two, three. Aww. Thank you, now we took care of it, we're satisfied. <laughs> Um, but listen, if we had to end, how cool that we're ending like this. How cool that we're ending with a performance that was so passionate and insane and excited and we're ending with our costumed heads held high. Uh, proud of this thing that we made that was born out of love and honesty and loyalty and scrappiness and sequins and joy. Now, every single person in this room is part of this. This is a musical that got to Broadway and beyond I'm turning the page, hold, hold, hold. 
uh, because actual human beings discovered it. Uh, we got here because actual people fell in love with this weirdo musical and dug the show tunes and dug the characters, and then these people who loved the show weren't afraid to show everyone just how much they loved it. So to everyone here in this beautiful building on 45th Street, and to everyone out there watching, everyone out there in bedrooms, and hospital rooms, and offices, and tiny little black box theaters, <laughs> and gymnasiatoriums, <laughs> and libraries, and to the two strange teenagers who are currently getting stoned behind the bleachers, <laughs> who feel like no one sees them, <laughs> or takes them seriously, I just want to say that we do. And we do. <laughs> and we promise two stoned teenagers to keep making strange, heartfelt, uncynical art that celebrates the weirdos, the outcasts, the creeps, the loser geek whatevers who live in all of us. Thank you all for believing in us, and we're gonna keep doing this. We're gonna keep doing you proud and keep honoring the glorious art form of musical theater, and not only tolerating the new, weird young audiences who are coming into this sacred space, but celebrating those audiences. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, listen, and today, it's the end of our run, but this feels like the beginning of a revolution. So thanks for making it happen. And we'll chill, we'll continue, as well other shows like it. And so now we gotta thank some people. Uh, so first off, a huge thanks to our incredible director who couldn't be here today, Mr. Stephen Brackett. He's directing another musical somewhere. He's not, um, you know, like incapacitated or something. Um, uh, 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 Stephen Raggett, um, our incredible music director back there, Emily Marshall. Come on. She, she, she's in charge of all of this shit. It's amazing. Uh, our incredible music team, uh, Danielle and Jeff and Amanda Flynn uh, and uh, Charlie Rosen, our orchestrator. He's also Thank you to the entire staff of people here at the Lyceum. The people in the back, the people backstage, they're the most incredible human beings who work in this theater who have been so tolerant and so cool about our insane musical coming in here. And these, these beautiful ushers uh, who, who are, are so understanding. Uh, for this whole performance, there's been like 45 people who work on the show standing in the back, alternately uh, hysterically crying and dancing. And all of the ushers, like, they didn't even kick anybody out. They just they tolerated, they're so wonderful. Wonderful. Um, thank you so much to our incredible designers, Bobby and Tyler and Bill and Ryan and Dave. Thank you for these iconic looks. Uh, thank you to Bernie Michaels and her entire stage management team. Thank you to Lisa Gilbert-King and her entire management team. Thank you to our incredible producers who took a chance on a weird little musical that wasn't based on a big movie and didn't have Hugh Jackman in it. Jerry Gorey, Mike Mitchell, Jen Tepper, who's going to be forever, and everyone else. Two River Theater, who made this possible. And to Ghostlight and Kurt Deutsch, who made this album. This never would have been ha possible without the album. Thank you guys for making it. And then thank you to the fellows on stage here. Chase Brock, who made this choreography. Yes. And to the Chase Brock and the amazing Joe Trace. Um, and then the last person that we have to thank is uh, the fellow who wrote the book, Be More Chill. Literally, uh, none of this would have happened without, for him, without him and the, the people that he created. Uh, so please, let's all give the biggest round of applause for the incredible, late, great Ned Bazzini. Thank you, Ned Bazzini. Um, and so listen, and so now we sort of reached the end of our evening, and uh, we got one more song for you. This next song is, uh, it's not from Be More Chill, it's a song of mine that, um, that I wrote. It's a standalone song, it's not from any musical, and uh, it's a song that I always end my concerts with. You know, anyone who knows me knows that uh, I have this group called the like, Family, and we've been playing, and... Uh, thanks. thanks. I wasn't uh, fishing for applause, but I will take them. Thank you. Um, uh, this, this group called the and Family, and we've been playing in tiny little theaters and basements and, and barns and whatevers uh, for so many years. 
And uh, the first time most of the songs in Be More Chill were ever heard, they were heard in, in these tiny little theaters and, and basements and bars and what have you. Uh, and so uh, I felt like a fitting way to end our uh, Broadway run uh, with, uh, with this song that uh, is going to be sung tonight by the fellow who's been singing this song in my concerts for so many years, Mr. Jason Sweet Tooth Williams. <laughs> And so listen, Jason is going to get, uh, he's going to have some backup, uh, and the backup will come out in a bit. Uh, all the people you're going to see on stage are people who uh, have been playing with me, uh, most of whom for, uh, most of whom for no money. <laughs> for, so, for so many years, I have a lot of people in my life who have been very supportive of me, and who have really like stuck with me through very hard times. Uh, and you're going to see some of them on the stage, so please be kind to them when they come out here. Uh, yeah, and now Jason's going to sing. <laughs> 